magical blessings from Priestess Melissa here on Venusian Empress Oracle. Welcome to Crystal Magic Monday. We're getting into the Crystal Mandala Oracle cards like we do every Monday. We'll see which crystal as well as affirmation and message is coming forward for us today. Ooh, that diamond energy and tiger spirit. I got my tiger's eye ring on today. Yeah, baby. I got the eye of a tiger. The thrill of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of our rival. And the last moon survivor stalks his prey in the night. And he's watching us all with the eye of the tiger. Definitely on guard. You got you, you know your value and worth, and you're probably not very in, excited or entertained by some of the options that may be before you, especially if you're single. But in any case, maybe you could just be bored with life, is what I'm getting here with the Light Seers Tarot. Now, these are general readings take what resonates, leave what doesn't, but definitely hit that like button for being here, especially if you get anything from the reading, and let me know below how this may be resonating. King of Swords energy coming out here today, okay? Could be sharp with your tongue there. Again, perhaps with someone, you could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or dealing with someone of that nature. But more than anything, you know, I feel like you're getting straight and clear in your mind about what it is that you want and what you're going to invest your time and energy into more than anything. All right, we got Divine Doors cards for us today to get some more advice and clarity around your situation that you may be dealing with if you resonate with this energy. And in general, you may just get a message that will help you. Even if it's one message, it's worth it. <laughs> All right, guys, and then we will get love messages from the Lover's Oracle cards, whoops, as I do on every reading that I do here on Venusian Empress Oracle. So do stick around to the end for all the good stuff, including I will answer one question for you with the flip of my handy dandy divination coin. Here we go. Thank you so much to the angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides for these crystal mandala oracle messages set that circle of protection around me and all who are here and hear these words thank you so much spirit we truly appreciate you and i appreciate each and every one of you for being here and for all of your contribution to the channel your likes comments shares and donations are truly truly appreciated Definitely subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of the readings I put out daily or the new and full moon messages that I do for every zodiac sign. All right, I even throw some special ones in there and I come on live Saturday nights for Saturday Night Empress Live. What about that? <laughs> All right, let's see what's coming out for us today, shall we? What are some of your favorite crystals? I love all kinds of them. Lately, I've been um, really tapping into rose quartz. I've got Labradorite on here as well, which is really good for if you're needing to tap into your throat energies and be able to speak. I know, um, you know, I've had some trouble with that energy, especially in the past too, which is what caused me to start this channel to begin with, you know? And when I listen back to readings of the past, I was so quiet. <laughs> Acceptance is coming through here today. Beautiful with that pink energy and oh, pink calcite. It's not rose quartz, but it's still a beautiful energy to work with to help you be more compassionate and gentle with yourself, accepting, you know, things as they are at this time. You know, this is something that it could be coming forward for you in a very strong way, especially if you're watching my readings in succession, you know, because they are timeless, but they are like on a timeline as well. So if you're following this timeline, um, I would encourage you to watch the messages daily in succession, especially to see what's coming out for you. So, you know, some lying on your path that, you know, block, whatever it may be, this fear has kept you from moving forward. Malachite is coming up with Archangel Raphael to help heal the heart, to know that 
you have so much to offer with this grand gesture, all right, to yourself, this acceptance of who you are and your situation, perhaps at this time, is the greatest gesture you can make to honor yourself, to stand in your integrity. A lot of green energy coming out here today, definitely with the blue as well, um, and the pink. So we're all in the heart and the throat energies, all right? We're being kind of graceful like that swan, right? That's what I get with this energy. And also with the Amazon energy, with the Amazonite, it's like, you know, maybe you felt like life has been a jungle or a situation that you've dealt with in your life has been like, you know, to be able to go through it and still stay in one piece, if you will, 555, you know, speaking of lions, like I said, you know, you've had to uh, go through these circumstances to really grow so much stronger within your heart, right? And that's what you're being asked to heal today and accept, come to peace within yourself, perhaps about something that has happened in your life and not allow it to be a weight on your heart. You know, that if you were to weigh that feather, um, on it then it would it would sink on your side right and this is hard for us when we uh, have really given our power away to such a degree which is like you know it is kind of like abusing ourselves to see someone as more important as better than we are and to allow them to have so much power um, we really do lose a part of ourselves in a sense and we do have to come to that place of healing and acceptance to move forward appropriately. We bring you the gift of acceptance. Rather than encouraging a situation to remain the same, the gift of acceptance empowers you to move through an experience. Uncovering the opportunity for personal growth and spiritual de development. Like I said, this time to move through this jungle, through all these difficulties that you've gone through. And again, Raphael with the Malachite is here, all right, to help you to move through it gracefully, to understand that this is actually a grand gesture, even though it may seem like you're the only one who's really experiencing this. It's kind of like, if that tree falls in the forest, makes a sound, but no one's around to hear it, does it still make a sound? Of course it does. No one else needs to know what's going on within you to have these great transformations taking place. Resistance prevents you from being able to see the truth and grow through the opportunities that life brings you. Acceptance is necessary for you to be present rather than in resistance. When you are present, you can see what is happening more realistically and you become able to respond to it with awareness. So you're not gonna get fearful when these situations come up. You'll understand that sometimes things only happen or people are only around you for a season or for a reason. And you allow yourself to be more detached in a sense even when you are attached with other people all right you always have to test the spirits you never want to get caught up in a situation where you've unknowingly invested more than someone else and then they have the power to cause such destruction in your life you know that you have to rebound from then you shall grow and obtain more power and wisdom through what through that process while you also become capable of receiving the divine assistance that will come to help you through any difficulty. So then you're gonna unblock those ways by coming to peace within yourself so spirit can help you to change your circumstances in a pleasing way. <laughs> Even if a situation seems challenging, your acceptance is the key to transforming it. I mean, transformation was huge in yesterday's reading. It was the bridging energy, actually, between the past and the future of the reading, if you go back and look, all right? So 
acceptance, all right? And understanding the choices that we've made in our life that have brought us to the point to where we are, but that we also understand the power we have to change at any time. It brings relief to your heart. It empowers you to take a step forward on your spiritual path that life is presenting to you. Through that step, new opportunities will arise, as they always do, right? There's always something just just around the river bend. Those are, that's for my Pocahontas fans out there. All right, so when you trust no, that no matter what appears to be, it is safe to trust that life is supporting you to manifest your divine potential. Acceptance becomes easier and feels more natural and more joyful. You start to um, not get too invested in things until you know, you know that it's safe to. We've all done that, you know, spent too much on a program that was going to help us make more money, um, you know, get with rich quick schemes, no different from, you know, hard fast relationships, you know, that end up fizzling out. So here is the affirmation with our beautiful pink calcite, and this is actually Archangel Anael with this acceptance energy. Acceptance brings peace to my heart as I embrace my unique and perfect gift of life, right? Yes, accept that maybe this was not meant to be your life, but that you have the power now that, that you know you know what doesn't work kind of thing. You have the ability to now put your energies and efforts towards what will actually work for you and bring that balance and unblock anything that's been blocked for you, so spirit, God, whatever you, uh, you know, call that higher power can assist you, all right? You can break those um, bonds, you know, those chains from the past, keeping the proper, um, I think the best thing that I would say here, the proper boundaries in place, especially to people of the past who have shown you who they are. You know, they always say, trust who people show you that they are, right? And don't try to change things that can't be changed. Sometimes people are just the way that they are with that Seven of Swords energy. And uh, if you know this, this, this may be what you need to accept, to be honest with you, that some people... I guess I'll see you next lifetime. In my Erica Badu voice, <laughs> you may have to turn your back on them and put your energy towards something else that will be productive. You know, if you can't be productive in love, you know, what is that? Um, accept the things you can change. Uh, um, let go of the things you can't. And, you know, also the ability to know the difference, the uh, a discernment to know the difference so you don't end up in this situation nine of swords you know always worried about the where you are at this point in life because you didn't do your homework <laughs> you know um, 13, 13 on the timer just then, but you may not have looked into things, researched people. Maybe now you will do that in the future, you know, because this could have been a hard hit for you. Five of cups energy. It seems like maybe perhaps 13, 31 on the timer now. There's been a string of this love bad luck, you know, like your pickers off or something like that. It's like, why is there always a mistress in the background? Or maybe even you're saying, I'm just as beautiful and amazing as the next person. Why am I not seen this way? But the problem could be first seeing yourself this way, all right? Because when we see ourselves this way, First of all, we're not going to be as likely to allow those type of people who would break our heart and would cause us all of this turmoil to begin with, losing sleep and things of that nature, all because we didn't do our homework, you know? You definitely want to know what you're getting into, what you're investing into. Again, doing your homework, making sure that it adds up that it's a good investment because that's what you want. And I feel like that's what you thought that this was with this particular situation, perhaps. But this is where we need to accept, perhaps, once again, that this isn't 
what is going to bring us happiness. You know, pining over this person and things of that nature. They could have just been after uh, sex, to be honest with you, with the wands, ace of wands particularly, is to, typically known as the phallic card. They may have got you, you know, caught up in a relationship um, with kids, or they could have had another relationship outside of yours with children as well. Uh, Queen of Cups energy, hopes, wishes, and fears that you will be able to gracefully put that crown back on and you will be able to offer your heart once again, but in the way that you're not going to get caught up in these crazy chaotic situations. You're going to be able to stand in your integrity no matter how fast you know somebody may want to go with a relationship. No, you're going to stand to your boundaries. You're going to know who you are. You are royalty and you may have to right now accept perhaps the choices that we made in the past were more out of a lustful state as opposed to a more logical or rational state, right, of what's best for us. I do feel like this is a good time and that you are likely taking a step back and spending some time alone, maybe going to a retreat um, or going to the mountains or something of that nature. But you will be able to see things a lot more clearly very soon is what I'm hearing. you got to climb those steps to put your crown back on, my dear, is what I'm hearing. But it is absolutely there waiting for you. You absolutely have the opportunity to accept and heal any situation in your life within yourself, even if the other person doesn't give you opportunity to do so. Opportunities, yes. Look for those opportunities. They're around every corner. Step out of your comfort zone and put the work into what is going to work in your life because there is a lot out there, all right? And there are a lot of opportunities that you can take advantage of. You just gotta look out for the right one, all right? So know your value and worth and make sure that you hold out for what's best for you. You know what I mean? Do your homework. Make sure you look into people and test the spirits as well as maybe even do a background check. Who knows? All right, let's see what's coming out for the Divine Doors message cards. Absolutely let me know how this may be resonating below. Hit that like button. We've got sunset energy coming out here today. Time to let the sun go down on this situation is what I'm hearing. Somebody else may be crying. Don't let the sun go down on me. So Sunset says, time here turns to release and unfurl old cords of pain fade as the sun's light bursts. So let it go is what I'm hearing spirits say. Just accept this person, this situation for what it was and allow yourself to heal and know that you are meant for much more. We've got this 42 on this door coming to a six, all right? The next door you go through is gonna be one that is gonna be balanced, healthy, and good. Inner power says, by your own command, you brought yourself here. At this moment in life, you have nothing to fear because as long as you calm yourself and you get into that energy where spirit can help you and assist you in going through those right doors, you will be able to let all of this go and you will have nothing to fear. Let those cords unfurl, let the sun go down on this situation and allow yourself to move into this new opportunity, this new door of inner power. Again, you brought yourself here and you absolutely will be able to get out of this situation unscathed. This last card here I saw on top talks about birth. It is time for you to go through a new way of being another gateway appears in view new life is unfolding with blessings to you i love it so don't be afraid to go in a different direction except again that there are much more opportunities out there for you to take advantage of 1919 that you are going to be much happier with especially in a healed state in an accepted state in a state that understands that, you know, we make choices, again, at times from a more 
spiritually immature perspective, which is kind of like a child making grown-up decisions, right? So we have to make sure that we do our healing process so we can make the right choices and protect our inner child from all this trauma that we could end up finding ourselves in, right? Soulmate energy coming out here today. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe it. And they will manifest physically. So this is all about getting right within your heart. Understanding what wasn't meant for you, but also looking for what is meant for you. All right? So we want to get our sights right so we can see when all of those choices come before us, especially perhaps the secret admirer, which is this card coming out now. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So this would be a great reason to do this healing work, all right? And know that you are going to be rewarded for staying in that space where you didn't allow this to keep you down. You rose. You got your crown, right? Yes, you have to take some time to do that, perhaps. But you are ready. You know what you do want. That is beautiful to see here. Definitely not wanting to deal with any more confusion or heartache for sure. Again, acceptance is going to help us to know when we see that Ten of Cups before us, that it's not a mirage, it's the real deal, baby. All right, you guys ready to get an answer to your question? Let's do it in three, two, one. The answer for today, my dears, is a hard yes. I love it. I do hope that was the answer you were looking for. Love you guys. And I truly hope you have a great start to your week or whenever you are seeing this message. I will see you tomorrow for Totem Tuesday or soon for another message. Bye for now.